As a medical doctor who has cared for over 500 survivors of torture, the process of evaluating these men from Abu Ghraib has had a profound impact on me. The magnitude of abuse was more than I ever expected and the worst I have ever seen. As someone who evaluates survivors of torture for a living, I found clear and convincing medical evidence of horrific sexual, psychological, and physical abuse that these men endured at Abu Ghraib. The ongoing suffering that they endure is palpable and extraordinary. These men are human beings, never charged with any crime. They continue to suffer physically, mentally, and socially. Many of them have not been able to return to their lives because of the torture they have suffered. They have been ripped from the fabric of their communities and have been alienated from themselves. The feelings of isolation and hopelessness is overpowering in some of them. It is tragic and ironic that these abuses were perpetrated by the United States, the very place to which many of my patients come to seek refuge from torture. It is also deplorable to me that medical personnel were reported to be involved in some of the abuses at Abu Ghraib, Guantanamo, and elsewhere. The U.S. is obliged to provide medical and psychological care to aid these men in their recovery. We must help them to rebuild their lives. Please read the report and get more information at brokenlives.info.